Star Sand, video number two on the Nintendo Switch. This is a survival game that I played on playing on a cartridge on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I survived one day. Yeah, Dave survived one. Up to, I was able to make this bed, which actually allowed me to save the game. Unfortunately, the, the game isn't paused during this part. Let me back up a bit. I wanted to show you that I was able to make this bed and save my game. Well, I'm cool now, so I'm in the shade, right? As long as I'm in the shade, my temperature's going down, I'm fine. So I can only sleep at night, but I can save here, so that's good. So press right or left on the D-pad. I can switch between the two with the L or R buttons. Now, where's that listed? Yeah, the wooden bed is right here. You can barely see the brown outline on these icons. It's a major problem I have with the game so far. Because I can't tell if I'm actually selecting something until I do, until I do this and see that's the right thing. And you can uh, save your game, which is what you need. Uh, so I have that. That's good. I don't want to stray too far from this oasis for the first day or so. So I can confirm that I'm in, you know, like a safe place. The game wants me to hunt an animal. I do need to eat food. So unfortunately the game is kind of funneling me into this hunting mechanic. And there were animals here earlier. I think there's one over there in the distance. Or is that a rock? We're going to find out in a second. I am going to have to eat something when I get back up to the surface. Now what I hear is nasty, but it is potable. Potable, is that the word? That is not a creature, it's a rock. So I guess I was, I was half right. <laughs> I have seen a few uh, animals uh, run up, scurry off in the distance. Hold on. I can kill this scorpion, but it is not... No, you don't. Oh, for crying out. Did he actually get me? He actually got me. So how do I remove the poison? How do I remove the poison? Oh, for crying out loud. I killed that scorpion the first time I played this game, in the first video, and now I try to whack it, and it somehow, it somehow managed to stab me. That's the kind of game this is, isn't it? And I still need to eat something. And of course, I know I'm poisoned. It's not the point. I don't know how to make the I don't know how to make the antidote. I am hungry still, but I might need to make that antidote. <laughs> I gotta make that antidote sooner rather than later. Uh, down. Uh, let me check on something. So can I craft the anti-venom? No. Uh, I know I'm poisoned. Antidote, antidote, resources. Antidote. I need desert fruit, and I do have a venom sack, but I need the desert fruit. Give me a second. I know I have some desert fruit. Uh, I guess I did have some desert fruit. That's not it, is it? I can't even see what that is. Please explain what that is before I eat it. I don't know what it is. But I don't have the desert fruit I need, so I have to climb the tree and get some. Or there might be some on the ground. So I press R, but I'm not eating it. So I guess I'm not eating that. It's coconut palm. I need a... Where's the desert fruit? It was around here. I'm pretty sure I didn't eat it, because I wouldn't have been able to make anything out of it. The last time I ate desert fruit, I got poisoned. You know what? There probably isn't any desert fruit here. It's kind of amazing. So now I am going to die. So I'm going to have to reload my game. I guess this is the experience. Well, can I hunt that? Can't run from me. Great horny toads. Watch it be a poison to stand still, Kermit. God, 
Ha! Suck it. Give me the loot. Find some meat and cook it on campfire. Okay, so this is an am I am allowed to hunt, okay. You know, it's a shame that I can't, like, you know, stay alive long enough to eat it. <laughs> I ran away. That's, that's how far I ran away. Unbelievable. So we'll press up on the D-pad to auto-walk. And I died. <laughs> Score for not got me. Bastard. Now I have to reload my game save and go through an hour of loading screen. So I guess I want to show you this to give you some idea about how it feels to fail. Uh, so yes, this is an educational video, isn't it? <laughs> this this channel is nominally educational. <laughs> so you get to see me die again, I suppose. <laughs> so you get to see me go through the fail state. See how long it takes to get back to where you were. Um, I want to say if you were playing on the playing Skyrim or Fallout 3 on the Xbox 360, load times are pretty bad. I do need I need I need to watch the Digital Foundry videos about Starfield on consoles. Because the Xbox Series S version of that game somehow runs at a solid 30 frames a second. I think it has 1440p on the resolution, which is shocking to me. So that implies to me that if you can run on an S bot, the Series S is like a $300 console. I mean, you can't save anything. Like you have to download the game to like a to like an expansion card. Because that's the big problem. The game's like 128 gigabytes on PC, apparently. That's a massive size for a video game. It's one of the biggest video games ever made. I mean, I want to say, like, uh, what was it? Uh, that Call of Duty Warzone game started out at, what, at, like, what, 45, maybe 50 gigs, and it wound up being 80 when all, everything got installed. I think Warframe is in the 80 gigabyte range these days. But Starfield's like 128 gigs. That's an entire freaking hard drive. Like, I, you can buy a 128 gig hard drive these days for like 20 bucks. They're stupid cheap. You can, I, I should have bought this when I was out shopping. I can, I, should, I can buy a hard drive enclosure. Actually, I already have a hard drive enclosure. I use it to back up my PlayStation 4 games. In fact, no, it's not that. It's a, it's a device I use to copy uh, my, game, my uh, videos from the PlayStation 4 to my uh, PC. So I could just pull out one of my solid-state drives from there and replace it with a 500... I got a, I got a 500 gig... Um, I want to say it was a 500 gig um, solid-state drive. I guess it was on sale at Best Buy for like 40 bucks. I should not have dropped it. It was on sale... I think it was like 30 bucks, maybe less at Best Buy. So I might I might wind up putting it in one of my desktops a bit later. Uh, so I need to eat. So if I need to hunt an animal, I need to... Well, let me eat something. Yeah, there's some coconuts up there. I'm gonna, let me eat something that I can hunt an animal. I press the B button to jump onto this tree branch or jump onto this tree trunk. Give me that. Pick it up. Then I gotta drop it on the ground. Actually, I, I picked them both up. Okay, that's cool. And there's another one over there. So I can chop down this tree or just climb up the tree and grab them. Now, I guess the question is, if the tree is still up, like, if I don't knock it down, does that mean more coconuts will grow? I don't think the coconuts give you much food, though. Give me that. I am hungry, I agree. So I got four of these nuts. Drop. So there's no... I can't eat this. Down. So I'm gonna, might as well, all I can do is just chop it. So let's just chop them all. No reason to hoard them. You can keep some for coconut water. There's no reason to drink coconut water here. I'm not even hitting them. I'm not even hitting it. That's the problem. Sorry. Coconut water. Is coconut... I don't think coconut water is any good. It's like oat milk in a way. But it's not very nourishing. It's basically just water with like a little bit of a little bit of fat in it, I believe. And that's a couple more nuts. All right. So if I had a storage box, I can dump them somewhere, somewhere. Because I thought I could drop some nuts here, but I guess they disappear after a while. That's a stone. That's a frog I can kill. Get over here in Michigan, Jay. 
Goodbye, my baby. Goodbye, my honey. <laughs> Going down, Toad. Give me the loot. Uh, of course, I don't have any room for it. I do have to cook some of this. I think I should get rid of the scorpion tail. I'm getting rid of the scorpion tail. I can eat these dates. Yeah, let me eat these. I have too many dates. Maybe that's the problem. Too many freaking dates. Can I drop that? There you go. Press the uh, Y button to drop it. So I think I can go to a campfire and cook this food. So what else would I... Whoops. Frond. So I have a bunch of those. All right, so I have to run back here. I chased that frog halfway. Wait, I chased that frog halfway down the desert. <laughs> That's the kind of game this is. So let's walk over there. I mean, we can run over there, obviously. <laughs> Gotta get that grub, though. Uh, let's see. Equip. Sounds like a good idea. Let's make sure I got my water. We got plenty of coconuts to eat, so that's fine. My water bottle's full, so I, don't, I ain't got to worry about that. And I can stay cool by staying underwater, which is always nice. I got to, I got to hold down the B button to climb more closely. So I did see some bigger game around here, like deer and crap, but... The only meat I can get was from a frog. I don't know what to tell you. And where's the sun? I know this is weird that there's the sun, so is it setting? I mean, I guess you could look at the shadows, you know, good old-fashioned, you know, navigational tricks. Like, how high is the sun and where's the shadow? Like, I don't know where north is, though, which is the problem. I press the minus sign to see the map. I don't have a compass. There's a option to give yourself a compass, and I, but I kept it off. I'm using the, I'm using the default uh, navigational aids, which means no compass. Now, I can change that for future playthroughs, but the question then becomes, do I want to play a game like this where it takes half an hour to get anywhere? <laughs> like, I played, when I played video one, you saw how long it took me to walk, like, four or five minutes from one point of interest to the other with a bunch of sand in between. Like, that's brutal. Like, that is really brutal. Like, Skyrim has some periods where you have to, like, walk a certain distance, but... It's never like featureless expanse, unless even if like, even if you're at the fringes of the map, there's usually something somewhere worth exploring. So that's always disappointing. Yeah, it's too hot. So stay in the water where it's cool. You're right around there. Let's just stay in the shade. There should be some shade around here. Because the shade's over there, huh? And I want to say the shadows will move during the day, but as long as I'm in the shade, it should be reasonable. It's not as hot here. I think I actually have to go in the water. Not there was some shade over here. So it's 100 degrees in the shade and climbing. Okay. So now it's cool. Okay, that's good. All right, so let me see. So I can't shop. I can't shop coconut here, though. You see, I'm in the shade, but it's still the temperature is still climbing. I mean, it might just be climbing more slowly. There's a sun icon there on the bottom right, left-hand corner of the screen, next to the heart. Okay, now it's cooler. Good. All right, so it's cooler here for some reason. Or it was a second ago. Okay, I'm out of the shade. No way, I, 
Let me make sure, yeah, I'm out of the shade now. I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's no sun icon on the screen, so I guess that explains it. Okay, drop the nuts. We'll chop them up. So we'll eat all of these. Then when nighttime comes, we'll cook the meat. Get that pulp. Eat that and that. So again, I need another source of food. I can't just hang out here at the oasis, unfortunately. Give me that. Give me that. So I can eat that in the water. So I can stay cool in the water and eat these nuts. And despite what your lifeguard might have told you back in the 20th century, I guess you can eat that go swimming. <laughs> Without getting cramps, I suppose. I need to confirm if that's true. I'm pretty sure it's in an encyclopedia or somewhere or something. The good news is the internet can help you find, well, if you do it the right way. The internet will help you find a reliable source that hopefully isn't Quora or Bing Chat AI <laughs> to explain stuff like this. <laughs> like, you need reliable sources, kids. <laughs> Don't trust everything the internet tells you. Sorry. Uh, find some meat and cook them on a campfire. We'll do that later. Um, right on the D-pad. So we're cooling off here in the Oasis. We will need more meat, but in the meantime, let me switch, press L and R to switch to my inventory. So can I eat something that's here? Apparently not. I can't use my hot bar while I'm underwater, so I'm going to have to leave the water if I want to select anything that's in my hot bar. I know they didn't ask me to use a campfire in the middle of the day. They're nuts. In the middle of this heat. I can just, I can just throw it on a rock and it'll probably end up getting cooked. Throw it on a sunny side rock, it'll definitely get cooked. I guess I can grab some more, uh, what you call it? Yeah, I guess I can grab some more nuts. Don't know how quickly they respawn, but I'll take it. Okay, I'm not in the sun, apparently, if I stay on this side of the tree. Stay on the shady side of the... Mm. Shouldn't be this hard. It's not the shady side of the tree. I have to watch my aim. I think I saw a frog move down there. I'll check it out in a second. Give me those nuts. Of course my inventory is full. I guess I have to eat these nuts. So they're not as filling as I would have hoped. Ah, that's too bad. Okay, so now I can grab these nuts. Why? Yeah, let me grab that. I'm going to have to swap it out with something else, though. Okay, I don't want him to run away. Well, he's going to run away no matter what. Get back here, son. Should I use the pickaxe? Up. Oh. Okay, we did it. We chased it back. Get to press up on the D-pad. Might be able to corral it if I aim properly. Yeah, take it back to the uh, oasis. It's 114. You better hurry up. Get this frog. Back in the shade. Look at this scintillating gameplay we got going on here. There you go. One can't do that in Minecraft. <laughs> Freaking frogs. Just a second. Can't eat the nuts, huh? Yeah, it's cut them open. So I'm in the. I'm, apparently, I'm cooling off, which is good. I know I'm hot. Give me a second.
This is why I'm hot. I, l I do like how, you, how the shade kind of in kind of interferes with the HUD, but it's also kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, but it's also kind of annoying because it means you can't always see like what you want to see on your HUD. <laughs> so that is kind of frustrating. <laughs> I know why they did it, but I think it's a concession they should have they should have made without making things too complicated. But like this this is this is a game that's like you know we just don't care about. <laughs> quality of life features. This game is just one big F you, like, survive. Okay, so what do I do with the seed? Eat all the nuts. Now I'll grab the seed. I think I left that here at the end of the last video. So I'm cool now. So I don't know what to do with the seed necessarily. I guess at some point the game will explain how to actually plant the seeds. Or maybe they're used for something else. I can make pants. Again, they want me to use a campfire in the middle of the day. They're out of the freaking mines. But the good news is my health is coming back since I'm well fed. Again, it's daytime. and I don't want to stray too far from the oasis. Maybe I can hunt down some dates. Stop. Okay, so let's go in here, see if we can find some dates. So let's see what we can find. Uh, yeah, I can't do this while I'm underwater. But again, I don't know what this is. There it is, press the X button. Restores hunger, okay. Essential for making a flammable mixture. Like fire arrows, I guess. X, raw meat. Not the safest lunch. Can you plant in the farm plots and cultivate it? But there, I don't have a farm plot. Burns easily. Fuel duration for 20 seconds. That won't do. I can split that stone. So I don't know how much... So how much, uh, what you call it? So how much uh, hunger do I get from eating the coconuts? Because the dates don't give you that much. You have to move. I'm gonna have to move some of this stuff to my hot bar, like it's terraria or something. Uh, so I have to cook that. I can eat that. So I'll accept that. I'll ignore the flammable material for now, I guess. So I ate the date, so I got a bit more room now. So now that I'm cooling in the water, I can sort through my inventory. Where am I keeping it? Don't ask. Where's the sun again? So the sun is setting. Okay, I might need... You think I can get that? That might be a bird. Howdy. Yeah, I think I can get. I'm gonna need an arrow to get in. At least a fro at least a frog did show up. That's good to know. So it is getting cooler. So at some point I will need to cook something. And at night, I, that's right. At night I won't be able to grab any more nuts. So I think it will behoove me to. Be near a campfire. Another stick. It will behoove at night. It will behoove me to have all my nuts and all my nuts in a row. So I guess I can grab those and move them over here next to the what you call it. Next to the uh, fire. Again, I'm curious how long these nuts will last. But I am well fed for now. So the oasis eventually runs out of food. And so the oasis inevitably runs out of food. Yeah, I'm very curious how I'm going to deal with all this. 
Because I, I, I'm, I'm not nearly good enough to actually go hunting for anything. But the game wants me to start cooking stuff. Which means I'm going to have to start hoarding a bunch of sticks for campfires. Uh, we have any more dates up here? I don't know if we have any more room. Yeah, we do have room for dates. We do have room for dates. Dates and uh, coconuts. I'm trying to climb this. There we go. I like how you just kind of jump on the trunk. <laughs> that part is cute. But the game never explains that's how you climb. The game just says climb a tree. It, does, it never explains how, which is also kind of frustrating. It's not too hot now, actually. It's actually hot enough for me to chase something down and cook it. <laughs> any more frog? You see any more specks of frog shadow in the distance? Now that it's nighttime. Yeah, I definitely need to gather my stuff that's away from the campfire. While it's still above freezing. Because it will get down to 45 degrees. It will get really cold here in the desert. So, we, yeah, the temperature is going down, though. So we are good. Temperature's a lot more moderate now. I, again, I'm extremely curious if the, any of these are coconuts respawn. That's going to determine how long I can stay here. Still a better game than Animal Crossing. <laughs> Although Animal Crossing isn't, isn't this janky, obviously. This is very much like someone trying to make a survival game and just kind of not being able to polish it enough so that it's so that's tolerable. And they got to a semi-playable state and just kind of walked away. It, it was just what I fear. That's always the fear. So it's still cold enough that I can hunt animals here at dusk, but I don't see any frogs. I don't think it's gonna go. I don't think this is gonna go very well. I was just hoping I, there might be a frog over there in the distance. Or it might just be a shrub. <laughs> My mind's playing tricks on me. It's a mirage here in the desert. The oasis is real, but the frogs are not. There might be a frog there in the distance. Hold on. There he is. I got you, boy. Goodbye, my baby. Goodbye, my honey. Come find my lump of warts. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. I never knew what the lyrics were. It doesn't really matter. I think, uh, what was it? Um, Who was it? Uh, Cartoon Network still says One Froggy oh. Evening is the best uh, Looney Tune of all time. Um... I unofficially vote for Sentimentally Yours, but I know why people might be somewhat mad about that, because it, it seems kind of dated, but I think that's kind of the joke, is that he's just, he just does, he just won't take the hint, so, I, so I, I'm okay with it, but I can understand why people might think it's kind of creepy, but I think the reason, I mainly, li I mainly like the, uh, the faux French uh, gibberish that's completely untranslated, which also might be somewhat inappropriate, but... <laughs> But the whole the whole joke about that cartoon is basically, dude can't take no dude can't take no for an answer. Let me not get close to that scorpion right now. Thank you very much. We will not mess with Scorpionock tonight. Yeah, that's a I'm about to say that's not a, that's not a <laughs> rattler, is it? Okay, so now it's cold enough that I can actually use the campfire, which is over there. Near the scorpion. <laughs> Again, you can kill the scorpion. We actually got some meat from it. But it, di it didn't count as an animal. When I killed the scorpion in the last video, it did not count as an animal toward my quest, which is kind of annoying. Uh, campfire. Uh, we can throw some fronds on there, I guess. Sticks or fronds?
I have to split that up. We do have too many too many twigs though. That's a that's a log. Let's not do that. No. Wood. Toss the meat on the toss the meat on the grill. Nope, that doesn't count. So that scorpion meat doesn't count. Oh, it's a date seed. Never mind. So I, okay, that's the problem. Guess I can't cook the date seed. So we're gonna cook that on the fire. And then I can just go to sleep and I can save my game and it'll be cool. In fact, I should probably save my game right now. Hopefully I don't get uh, stung by a scorpion in the middle of the night. Game saved. We did it, fam. But I kind of wish I could make another game save, but whatever. Like a separate game save. I had to save over what I just did. Uh, campfire. Still cooking. We got coal, apparently. We got some leftover, so I can use it for making something else, I suppose. And we also have these seeds, but I need a farm plot for that. So let's leave this over by the campfire, I guess. That's like a good idea. Uh, so we can drop those. And we're going to eat those seeds, actually. Stop. Give me that. Okay, uh, D on the D-pad. Left, sorry, left or right on the D-pad. Uh, these are dates, so I can move those. Not gonna consume those yet. I gotta put them on my head. Okay, we're good. What are these? Coconut seed. So I can drop this next to the other coconut seeds, I guess. Why? So we just drop those. Hopefully they don't burn. So we do have cooked food. Craft and place a shelter. You mean an actual shelter? Because I created a bed already. And I'm going to waste more resources to craft something else. I think I already saved my game. Remind me to talk about Labyrinth later. Uh, logs, fronds, and cordage. Of course, I always need cordage. It drives me nuts. I always need cordage, which means I need more. I need two logs. I need stems. Fire's out. Let me get the food, by the way. So I need more logs to cook this food. That's really what they're saying. Anything else I need to drop over here? I don't think we need to drop any more logs. So I need to chop up more wood to make stems. That's really the problem here. I can't stay warm just by chopping stuff. Well, I've already saved my game, so I'm not opposed to that. Can I eat this? Not as filling as I would have hoped. Restores a lot more hunger. Consume that. Which is the reason it exists. Man was, man was smart enough to make fire, so they figured it out. Uh, hold Y to sleep. So I'm just curious what happens. We're going to end the video pretty soon. I honestly don't know if I can put up with much more of this, but I'm willing to give it a chance. And also have, also have not prepped any other games except for demos. Which I'm not afraid to play. I could pull out a couple more of these demos and play them. But it's a good thing I actually can't went to sleep this time, because I couldn't sleep at the end of the last video. I stayed up the entire night, built a bed, and accidentally found out that I was able to save my game. Well, I'm thirsty again. I guess we can tease the next video. I don't know. All right, we're good. And we're well fed. And the campfire's still going. Do we eat it now?
Whoops. Give me that. Uh, let's see. Inventory. Let me try a thing. Um, can't do anything with the seeds, so I can drop those. Hopefully they don't burn in the fire. Of course it's hot. It's always, it's a freaking desert. Of course it's hot. Um, so now I can just hang out here while it's cool. And I am well fed, so that's good. So I will need more stems, definitely. They want me to make a shelter, so what will I need? So I could probably do this when I'm not recording commentary. I need three logs and three cordage. So I can do this here at the cool part of the oasis. Uh, I need to chop down trees. Well, can't chop down those trees from here. I don't think there's a cool place I can go to chop them down. Yeah, so this palm is only good for fronds. Can I stay out the sun? I can try. Yeah, this part's the shady side. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> not anymore, it's not. Give me those fronds. If I can chop that trunk. Oh, oh, there, oh there's an durability system on these items. On these tools. There we go. But I will need stems. So yeah, just chop it like that and you get stems, which I need for cordage. Uh, logs. I will need eventually. Yes, yeah, go back in the go back in the cool side. I might have to make some more cordage. Mind the cool part yet? Now I am. So it's a lot cooler over here. Okay, so I need cordage. So I can I can craft this stuff here. That's fine. I think I need three cordage. So I need more stems. Stems will come from the uh, fronds. Uh, let's see, shelter. So I need two more cordage. And I have enough logs, but I need more cordage. So basically I just need to cut the fronds. So give me a second. I'm staying here in the cool... No, I gotta move to the cooler part of the oasis. The deeper part, I guess. There we go. That's cool enough. It's too cool. I'm underwater. Yeah, I cool off really... I, I get warm really fast out of the water. I guess this is just to keep my... This is just to regulate my body temperature. I feel like... I feel like a amphibian. Okay, so I need to chop up these fronds. Give me a second. Inventory. Again, you have to do a lot of fiddling. You have to get used to it, unfortunately. There are more fronds down there. So we'll drop a couple of them. Chop them up. Give me. And I need one more. Drop it. Press down the D-pad to drop it. All right, so let's get back in the water, stay cool. Yeah, here, it's getting a lot cooler here. You can see on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, getting way cooler. Cordage. So we need two more. So at the plus sign, we need both cordage. And we can make the shelter when we're done. Should be down here. Might have to make some room for it. I can craft that actually. It takes 20 seconds. So apparently I do have room for it. I do, which is good. And now I'm getting hot again. So where is the sun exactly? Because if there's a shady place, I want to see if I can stay in a shady place. 
Shelter is crafted. Let's get let's get our drink. Yeah, I thought I'd be safe here away from the sun, but I think it's directly overhead. Yeah, it's directly overhead. So this isn't gonna do it. This is a shadier spot. Yes, it's a shadier spot. That's good. Alright. So I crafted it. Where do I have to place it? Oh, it's in my hot bar. I'm holding down the B button so you can uh, surface more quickly. Yeah, the shelter's down there, so let's put it right next to the table. Or right next to the bed. Makes perfect sense to me. I mean, that's my logic, anyway. I don't want to rotate. Press Y. There you go. Shelter's done. It's still hot here. It's my tent. Yeah, it's not boiling, but it's still reasonable. So craft a hammer. Let's get in the water. Find a cool spot. Okay, where's the sun again? Right up there. Well, it's always hammer time on this channel. We never have to stop for hammer time on this channel. There we go. Craft. Is it, it's a tool. I bet, yeah. So for hammer, I need stone and what else? I always need cordage. It's the freaking cordage. I swear to God. Okay, so I should, it should be shadier here. Yes, it's shady enough. So drop it. Drop and chop. Did I drop it? Yeah, I did. So let's chop these wet fronds. <laughs> Stop. Chop. Yeah. How many more do we need? Tools. We need three cordage. So I'm probably going to need more stems than that. Stay in the cool part. So we, can do, we can do our research in the cool part. We need three of these. So we need two stems for So we need six cord. We need six stems. That's really the problem here. Drop them. Let's shop them. Can't shop while I'm underwater, apparently. Don't have the leverage. And we need one more. Drop it. And chop it. Again, there's a better if there's an optimal way to do this, I don't know. I'll just do it this way. I figure out something better, I suppose. Okay, so stay in the water and we can start crafting while we're in the water and we're nice and cool. We're like we're like an otter. We do all of our business in the nice cool water. And we're gonna need three of these. Again, the cursor is very hard to see. It's all colored icons. They're very hard to see. They're black. They're they're gray and brown. They're gray and brown. It's not very helpful, unfortunately. So we will need a um, hammer. There it is. So now that's in gray. We can make it right now. Craft that in ten seconds. The second of real life. And it's a sip of a little water, just in case. Get a little drink. My uh, red heart meter is full, and that's very good. So now that I got a hammer, now what? Maybe I should have rotated that shelter. What do you think? <laughs> Can I pick it up and move it? Place a piece of the foundations. What foundation? What are they talking about? Uh, go to a cool part. Yeah, it's too cool. It's underwater. I should be out of the sun. This should be a perfect... Yes, this feels like a reasonable temperature. No, I'm in the sun now. So I need to stay on this side of the rock, it looks like. Baby. 
cry this hard ass bitch could cry. What can I do? Yeah, still kind of warm over here. Might not be able. To, I'm not in the sun. I might not be able to make this work. So what's that foundation they're yammering about? What's this like? We're we doing makeup. What are we doing here? Foundation. Ooh, a leather canteen. What are they talking about with the foundation? I have the hammer. What does the hammer do? Well, let's go over here, see if that's explained. The start building. Oh, so we have to start building a base. Okay. With the hammer in your hand, press to open the building menu. Okay. Press X to open the building menu. I have to start, let me see if I can find somewhere cool. I need to get cool. I need to regulate my body temperature. I'm like a snake. You know the snake is on the climb. This is the only way. I'm like an alligator. <laughs> the heck is this? Maybe I just need to sploot on a log like an alligator do. You know those... uh. You know those uh, lizards do that. They got sploot like a like a squirrel in the summertime. So I'm not in the sun anymore. I'm still getting hot. Why well, I really should have rotated this? I guess I'm just heating up less quickly. Okay, so now that I have the hammer in my hand, I can press the X button. I have no idea what they want me to do here. You mean that foundation? Foundations and roof, okay. Uh, okay, it's too hot. I was hoping the shelter would work. I guess it doesn't. At least not in the way I'd like. So I'm out of the sun now, so I can cool down a bit. So I can, uh, it's cool enough for me to think, I guess. X, A, wrong button. X, A. What, what? Did a scorpion sneak up on me while I was reading that? Oh my god. Who did that? The bastard stuck me while I was reading the menu. What the hell? It's official. I hate this game. Where did it even come from? What? Okay. I'm calling it. Freaking game. I might give it another chance later, but right now I'm just not in the mood. Video number two. I recorded this with my Skull Candy earbuds uh, in, through an audio splitter into my J5 Create uh, capture device, USB C into a wind quad core Windows 10 laptop with a Windows 10 camera app capturing the scintillating footage at 60 frames a second. We're probably going to cut to 30 because I mean, I don't think the frame rate even gets above 30 anyway. Who are we even kidding? Freaking video game. All right, so what's next on the agenda? Well, I got a couple of demos I can probably pull out, but that was kind of embarrassing. 